Hello Opals users. This short tutorial will illustrate how to add a new teacher or student or user of your library into the Opal system. To do this, go to the Users tab, choose Add, and this will be to add a single user at a time. Please note that if you can get a CSV file of your students that's current for the school year, send it along to Opals and we can help you import it or give you directions to import it. Some schools have overnight importing that's done automatically depending on your school management system. We could try and set that up for you. If you're a REN web school, we do have your data given to us every morning uh, that was done the night before and we're also looking to set up an automatic process for REN websites as well. This video will just show how to add a new student or teacher. So here's the form that you would fill out. And also bear in mind that if you're going to do an update of your student database, you do not have to fill in all the information on this form, such as address, etc., as it would be overwritten when your new data comes in as a complete file. So I'm going to enter in a name, and I'll put a last name in. If it's a teacher, you can go right to the very bottom. You really don't need any of this other information. You could go right to the bottom and make sure you choose user type. Anything, any person you add to this, uh, to the Opal system will need a user type and the appropriate. So I'm going to choose a teacher for this particular user type. And if your teachers are assigned a unique ID number, you can put it in the barcode, user barcode field right here. Oftentimes, though, I should say uh, teachers are not assigned um, a, uni a unique ID number, but if they are, put it in the user barcode field, make sure the user t type is teacher, and then just save the record. So I entered a name, first and last name, went to the bottom. If they have a user ID, put it in. If not, you can leave it blank and you can pull your teacher up by their name and just make sure the user type is teacher. For a student, I would probably uh, put in their first and last name, and just so I had something to go with until I got my final file, I would put in their teacher's name, their grade, their homeroom. Um, if you'd like, you could put in their gender. Uh, some of this would be overwritten, depending on the file you sent us. A nickname could be put in if you like, and that could be also referred to in your Opal system. So for a student, you would put in their first and last name, maybe a nickname, maybe a homeroom, a teacher, a grade, and what's very important is the student's ID number. Uh, I wouldn't make one up and I wouldn't leave it blank. So if the office or your school administration has their unique ID number, make sure you put it in. Because when you do get a file, of all your students. It matches on this number and overwrites the data and it does not get rid of transactions and loans and overdues. Those are remaining safe. But it would overwrite the data and add any new additional data such as phone numbers, addresses, and emails. So just make sure when you enter a student, first and last name, their homeroom, their teacher if you like, their grade, which will come in again if you get a full file and we'll, we'll help you out with that. And just make sure you put in their user barcode, and you can copy the same number into the student ID if you like, but it's really important to have it in the user barcode. And for a student, make sure you choose student, or if your school uses something like K through second grade, third through fifth grade, make sure you choose the appropriate user type, and then hit save. I hope this short video tutorial has been helpful, and if you need further support, please get a hold of us at uh, our tech support lines or email. Thank you.